What is going on guys, my name is JJ, or I call as my channel today, and welcome to my top 10 favourite Pokemon, not including Aron, Laron, or Agron, as if you know or could have guessed by my channel name, um, Agron is my favourite. So for this, I'm not including them, they won't be on the mention list or in the actual top 10 themselves. Although Agron is my favourite, I'm going to be doing then as such my, my top 11 as such. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and here we go. So for number 10, we have Beedrill. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I've always seemed to like Beedrill. It's always been someone or a Pokemon I've wanted to use in a Let's Play. Or even just a Pokemon to use on completing the game. Although um, it's a poison bug, which they don't really tend to be very effective in uh, most games. Um, I, I have tried once, and I really enjoyed using them. So Beedrill is number 10. Number 9 is Staraptor. Like every Pokemon game, at the start of the route you go on, you'll find a flying Pokemon. Now, for Sinnoh, when I was going through Diamond, um, it was Starly, and I was very impressed with what it evolved into. I find Starly has been a very strong, quick, and powerful Pokemon for me. I love its moveset, I love the moves it can learn, the way it looks, it just seems like a very good Pokemon. So, and that's why Staraptor is number 9. Number 8 is Slacking. Now, the thing I absolutely love about Slacken is how powerful it is. Its, it's base stats, all added up, are the same as Kyogre and Groundon. This Pokemon is in the top 10 all-time strongest Pokemon, and it's not even a legendary. You can catch its first of old form, which is Slackoff, in one of the early routes in the uh, Hoenn region. Um, it's very quick, it's got very good defense, very good um, uh, physical defense and special defense, very good attack and extremely good HP. That's why Slacking is at number eight. Number seven is Umbreon. Umbreon, when I'm going through Heart Gone Soul Silver, and I looked up and I needed a dark Pokemon, I looked at Umbreon and I thought I'll give it a go. When I got him, I, I was very impressed. It's very good defensively. It takes a lot to take down an Umbreon. It doesn't look like a very good defensive Pokemon, how small it is, but its defense stats are really, really good. Um, what I also like about it as well is what its shiny, shiny form looks like, um, the, the, uh, the black and the blue. I like how it looks, and I like how defensive Umbreon is, and it's not too bad offensively as well. That's why Umbreon is number 7. Number 6 is Electivire. What I, what I do love about the um, Sinnoh region is when they introduce all these new evolutional Pokemon, and um, Electivire was one of them, and I was really, really impressed by it because it's a very very strong um, electric Pokemon um, I like its abilities where if it gets hit by um, an electric move it increases its speed because it's a big Pokemon um, with that speed increase makes it even more deadly to use um, and that's why Electivire is number six number five is Zangoose I used Zangoose for the very first time in my Pokemon Ruby walkthrough well about a year ago and um, I was, again, I was very impressed with how well it managed things. It, it's not, it doesn't look like a very bulky Pokemon. It looks fairly strong, but not very bulky. But it took hits quite well, and it, it gave off hits as well quite well. I was very impressed with it when using it in my Ruby walkthrough, and I thought it was quite a good choice to pick it for my team. That's why Zangoose is number five. Number four is Drapion. Um, I first used Drapion when I was going for my Diamond. Um, let's play, but also watching the um, Pokemon anime as well. And I watched it on the anime, I was very, I looked at it and I thought, wow, that looks like a decent Pokemon to use. So I picked it up and I was very impressed with it. It's very good tactically for using toxic spikes and then also poisoning the, the opponent's Pokemon. Um, it's quite bulky and it's a dark poison Pokemon. I like the way it looks, I like its moveset. I quite like most most of everything about Jopion, that's why it's number four on my list. Number three is Mudkip. Now, Mudkip's on here, not as Swampert or Marshdown, but Mudkip, because when I was seven and I saved up for two years to buy the limited edition Pokemon Sapphire Game Boy with the um, Pokemon Sapphire game, um, I chose Mudkip, and that was my first ever Pokemon game I played. So Mudkip was my first ever um, Pokemon I ever had. Um, I remember being really upset when I evolved it and I didn't know what I'd done and I was like I want the other one back 
because I evolved it into Marsh Jump. But um, I do like Marsh Jump and I really like Swampert as well. And Swampert's getting a mega evolution in the new Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So that'd be interesting to see. But Mudkip is number three on my list. Number two is Darkrai, the first and only legendary on this list. Um, I really, really, really like Darkrai. I find it's a very good tactical and very strong Pokemon. It's a dark type, and what I love using is um, Hypnosis and um, Dream Eater. It seems really, really effective with Darkrai. Um, I first saw Darkrai in the anime and watching Ash um, battle against it. Uh, when a Skeptile eventually took it out, I think. Um, I find it, yeah, like I said, I find it's a very strong Pokemon. It's not very bulky, but then it's quite hard to hit at some points. So Darkrai can be very useful for your team, and that's why he's number two. Number one is Skeptile. Again, another Hoenn Pokemon. Um, what I really like about Skeptile is how quick it is. Um, how sh it's very strong as well. It's one of the strongest, but well, one of the quickest graph types, if not the quickest graph type, throughout all 700 Pokemon. Um, I like it as well because, again, um, I somehow managed to get it when playing Sapphire. Maybe I traded it with one of my friends, I can't exactly remember. But Skepta was my first ever level 100 Pokemon. Um, I really admired how strong it was, how quick it was as well. Um, and that's why Skeptile is number one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you if you liked it, please leave a like. Maybe I'll do some more top tens. I don't know. We'll see how this goes down. And yeah, please come right and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time for another video. Goodbye.